Good morning, you beautiful people, and welcome to Blood of the Dead 101. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I set up for a game of Blood of the Dead. But because of how intricate and deep and so many different things there are in Blood of the Dead, I will not be showing you everything that can be done in Blood of the Dead in this video. The way I set up is going to be different from the way that you set up, and I won't be getting all of the tools and all of the side quests that you might want to get. So take that for what it's worth, here is how I set up in Blood of the Dead. And of course, the tutorials for what I'm about to show you will be in the description or the icon above. Alright, starting off here, I will say, this is the only map, Blood of the Dead is the only map where I would highly recommend using anything but the Welling. The Welling is not so great on this map. I love the Strife, and if you can get the Stiletto Knife, it's even better, because there is no Bowie Knife here on Blood of the Dead. But, besides that one tiny little thing, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to turn on the Catwalk on round one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill, melee kill, five zombies here so that I can go through this door, turn on the power and go through the catwalk. Five zombies down, I've got 750 points which is just enough for this door. We can head on down here and of course I always like to get the free hundred points from the perk station and we can turn on this power. Alright, so Catwalk 101, these zombies only spawn in front of you, and the round zombie always walks. So we're going to knife every single running zombie that's towards us, and we're not going to worry about any zombies behind us, because that will only be the round zombie. Take it section by section, as we push up, we'll get more zombies that spawn in on us. Just knife them, because it's round one. Again, if you have the stiletto knife, you can do this on round like two or three. That was the round zombie donuts thanks for paying attention but that is no big deal but what i like to do over here is i like to throw some grenades over here just to get that warden to spawn in over here so we can get that knife pretty early on hopefully that hopefully that did something i think we got him i think we did so we're gonna knife this guy very good and here we are the warden should spawn in somewhere yes he's right here so all we need to do aim for the head Shoot him with this strife. Very, very effective. We'll come through here. And we should be able to get perfect the warden's key from that. And we can knife all of the zombies. Now, because this is round two and I have the strife, I'll, all I need to do is put in one to two shots of the strife into the zombies in order for them to die by a knife hit. We can kind of headshot these dogs here. There we go. Or just one shot. One shot and a knife to the zombies is a one shot on round two. There we go. Don't need to worry about him as we turn this corner. We'll get some more dogs, a couple more zombies. Very good. You're the walking zombie, so I'm not even going to mess with you. Boom, there you are. Dogs are dead. This guy's still running at me. We're going to knife him. And voila. They, we are done with the catwalk in round two. We could have been done on round one, but Donuts is a scrub and killed the zombie. That's not too bad. We got 4,000 points. Killed Brutus. Oh, look at that. It's in the first spot we see. Perfect. That's that shield piece. We got two shield pieces down. And now all we need to do, now the next thing I'm going to focus on is getting this dog right here. Getting this dog fed, turning on the power, and that sort of stuff. So the reason I get this dog fed first is because I generally, I generally, genuinely and generally really dislike this area. I, I didn't like it in Mob of the Dead, didn't like it in Blood of the Dead. It is super close and it is very easy to, to go down. And I like to save all the zombies that I can. And so getting a lot of zombies in this close quarters, obviously, as you can see, is no not very, not very easy for me. So what I like to do is every time you start to feel like, oh no, I'm going to go down, obviously, I didn't right there, but you know, you can go into this area, look at this spot for the shield, and just go all the way around here. This will despawn the zombies, and it will make it so that you can kind of take on this dog head in a little bit of a safer condition. But also, it takes a little bit longer, so you know, you're not speedrunning this today. Something I've noticed is that the dog round, the first dog round, will always be the first round after you get to the prison, so keep that in mind. Alright, so this dog is done, and we are going to head on down to the Citadel area. I want to turn on the second power so I can go into that room. And as we go on down here, we are going to keep an eye out for that second shield piece in the Citadel area down here. It could be right here. Oh look, it's right there. Very nice. Very first 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 location could be I have the warden's key, luckily, so I can open that up right away. I can head on down here. 
It's also going to be right there if you didn't know, and it could be right here. It's really close together. Now we can come on in here and we can turn on the power, the power right here, and we are going to get our Brutus right here, which I think I'm going to deal with with the overkill. So we can just kind of ooh, shoot him in the head until his helmet pops off, and then shoot him in the head until he eventually dies. So it should be right there. And then I like to headshot all the zombies that I can. Well, I guess I probably shouldn't have done that for the dogs, but you know, details, details. Now let's head on back up. And we are going to try, I guess we can build the shield right now. Uh, but first, I want to get this dog done. So let's head on up through the warden's office and get this dog. I'm not going to use it. I don't need it. But I'm going to pick up the acid yak key piece because I can. I'll get the 300 points from this perk machine, and we can go right inside of here to the Warden's house office area for this dog. Alright, so that dog is done. Now we're going to make our way all the way back to the new Industries building to get the final dog head. Now, something else I'm going to do in between now and then is I'm going to head on over here, and I am going to grab a Mog 12 off of the wall, just because it's a fantastic shotgun, it's super good, it's only a thousand bucks, and we can use it as emergency self-defense in the upcoming little side quests that we're gonna do. So it's really useful. I'm gonna make my way all the back, all the way back through the catwalk to the new industries building, and we'll see you there. All right, so we're through here with the zombie, and we can get started on this. Now, since we can build the shield, uh, I am going to build it right here because I think this is going to be a good spot if you are using kind of the most popular high round strategy of the new industries strategy here. It's a really good strategy. I'm probably going to cover it here pretty soon, but it's a good strategy, so I'm going to build the shield right there. All right, very nice. So now I'm going to kill off these zombies, try to get a couple of points because I think we can get the free Plundergat on this round if I'm able to unlock enough of the map. All right, so we're here in the showers where we can go to the Warden's house and we just need to be ready right away to get this Hell's Retriever. Now, one of the things I will not be doing in this little setup guide is doing the Hell's Redeemer upgrade. I don't find it worth it. I don't think it's worth it to get it. After we got the Hell's Retriever, I'm going to start the free Plundergat Easter egg. All right, going up through here, this is also a good secondary spot for building a shield there. That's where I've been building it, just because I like being on the roof in one of my strategies, so that shield spot is really close to that. But, you know, it's really up to you and what strategy you're using. And also, I'll pick this up, even though I'm not going to use it. <laughs> and we can get our 300 points from here, and we are now up on the roof. And it should be noteworthy, I haven't drained any essence from zombies yet, so I want to teach you something, a little trick that I've learned here. On one of these afterlife things, there's going to be one sparking, and if you hold your shield out and you bash it, then you will get a free full charge on your shield, and I've been doing that a whole lot, and that's been very beneficial to me. As we're up here, we will get this 300 points from this perk machine, and we will come on down here, and we can get this uh, this final piece of the free blunder gap right here. All right, so we got the free blunder gap, and we are good to go to upgrade this. So I will be doing the Magma Gat upgrade, we're just going to pop this in here, and we will get this started. We're on round 5, so we shouldn't have too much to worry about. Alright, so that was pretty easy. We just dropped that essence in, pick up the Blunder Gat, and we are good to go. So now we start this long trek all the way back, trying to be as fast as we can to get to these barrels. Alright, we made it. We are all good. Now we just got to get ready for Brutus to come in. I guess I should mention, you can just get these zombie souls just as you play through the first beginning rounds. It's really all not that difficult in this beginning rounds here. So I'm making my way up to the roof here because I want to pack a punch these weapons, or at least the, this magma gat here, so I can get two, two shots in here and uh, we should be good to go here. I got a Brutus chasing after me, but honestly, really shouldn't be all that difficult, especially once we're up here. Should be easy to take care of them. There we go. Really such a great, powerful weapon here. So now we've got one charge remaining on our shield. We're gonna kill the rest of these zombies to get another shield charge here so we can get our Golden Spork going. 
Alright, so I've killed a lot of the round zombies and I've got plenty of points, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come on down here and I'm going to buy this KN57 off the wall and we will start this Golden Spoon, Golden Spork upgrade. So we need to head on over to the Warden's office. 156, perfectly done. Now we can go down to the Citadel Tunnels and input that code. Alright, 156 is inputted, we've got that all down and this is going to knock down this thing, which is always pretty cool to watch. Yeah. All right. So let's head on out here and let's get up, get that spoon from the ocean. This is always pretty tricky. Uh, I don't necessarily like this because you're always waiting for zombies and stuff. So what I found to be kind of really consistent is ending the round here or holding some zombies, waiting for this to get all the way up here till it stays open, and then just tap the hazard deemer or the Retriever, and you should have your spoon. So, I like to wait to get my perks till the last thing that I do. I usually like to pack a punch my weapons first to make sure those are all set, but I've got an excess amount of points, and we should be fine here once I get started training, so we can start buying perks now. Alright, so I bought Quick Revive, and I need to put the spoon in this bathtub, and now we just need to get zombie kills on the roof, so that should be easy enough. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So because it's an early enough round, and I'm probably going to get a max ammo here in one of these dog rounds, I just kind of like spamming the ground with the uh, uh, Magma Gat. It's really not all that difficult, and you should get it pretty easily. Alright, so a couple rounds later, that was actually a dog round in between there. That was two full rounds of zombies. I think this should be good enough to where we can drain it. Very nice. So the next thing I need to do is I need to go find the Pack-a-Punch so that we can Pack-a-Punch our weapon and get this thing going. Get the water tower broken down. One of the worst things about Blood of the Dead, you don't know where the Pack-a-Punch is ever at. <sighs> Alright, so we've traveled all the way across the map, gotten ourselves a Pack-a-Punched weapon, and we should go be good to go all the way back and shoot down the water tower. Alright, so now that we're here with the Pack-a-Punched weapon, we're going to shoot off one support. Where's the other support that's over here? That's the other support that's over here. And then there's another support that you can find on this side. You can shoot it from the roof, but you can also shoot it from right there. And then there's another support on the left side, on the left leg there, that you can shoot uh, either from where I was just standing, you can kind of shoot through there, or you can go all the way around to the building over here, which I'll show you. You can shoot this last support from over here, right over here somewhere. But personally, I think shooting it from right over here is just easy. Look out! The tower is going to collapse! And once that tower is collapsed, all we need to do is run on over here and get ourselves a free golden spork. Very nice. And so that basically does it. That's all I'm going to show you for this game. From here, you have a couple branching pathways that you can do. You can level up your specialist weapon and you can go get the free monkey bombs. Or you can go get your Hauser Deemer upgrade, as I said before. Obviously, go get your perks, go get your, your setup. But from this point forward, it's just hoarding points and getting whatever it is that you want to get. As I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any questions or want any more in-depth tutorials, they will all be in the icon above or the link in the description. Hopefully this guide was useful. If it was, let me know by leaving a like on the video and subscribing for more Zombies 101. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next absolutely beautiful Zombies morning, I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful. Is it the